Working with the Institute for the Stewardship of the Natural World and IVS, uh, two institutes on campus, uh, Professor Don Hachensky, graphic design faculty, and I uh, developed a course on sustainable design. The job for the students was to somehow create a new design for what at the moment is a marshy mess. The Alluvial Garden Group just did an excellent project. Um, the course ended with a university-wide exhibition in the IVS gallery and they had beautiful boards and explained the project really well and had a really sensitive and thoughtful project. Basically it's a, a series of filters and uh, redirections for the groundwater and the kind of the runoff that's going to be coming from all the parking lots from the hillside area um, and from the village. I work specifically on a seeding design and then I also worked with uh, finding plants within which uh, would go in the garden and, and specifically help filter the site um, as well as plants that would work well with university goals such as low maintenance, um, they could deal with the weather conditions, they didn't need to be watered a lot but could handle flash flooding. A lot of storm water builds up and kind of floods the area currently so we wanted to make a walkway that students could actually walk on and not drown. <laughs> the idea was to bring together two sometimes conflicting values of the aesthetic and what is environmental. So often you see environmental things and people will refer to them as, as granola or as natural. And uh, the idea here was something that is natural but that also fits in with a uh, manicured landscape as well. We're visiting an actual site um, trying to figure out what's going to be possible there. It wasn't just invent your favorite museum or um, and instead it was something that they could actually see could have impact on their own lives. And we brought in Michael Singer who is an acclaimed designer to assist with it. So it was a whole other experience working with somebody who facilitated this as an external observer and critic really. Um, and for us that was fantastic because we were also working with facilities which is a cross-divisional collaboration and so that brings in a whole other element as well. I really had an extraordinary experience yesterday visiting the classes that I saw. He came to the class sort of in the middle and provided sort of midterm critique. Um, and gave a really important public lecture um, and then returned at the end of the semester uh, to see where the students had ended up and to do sort of individualized critique with them. It was very, very inspiring to me and it's a model again for how the academic realm can affect the public realm. I mean very often we're seen as the ivory tower or behind those walls and here you've got a group of faculty who are working together with students to actually address some real issues. So not only does our project show that students can create and build things uh, with the, the skills that they learn at JMU, but it also shows that we can do so with a greater community in mind. I mean, it's definitely a, a great portfolio development. I would say it was a very intriguing project and it was, it made me really interested in this kind of area of design. I would say that the um, design outcomes that we achieve, that students achieved are some of the best that have ever come out of any of my classes. And this is an experience that they, they, they actually commented on that ability to see the way the world worked. You know, that, that a working group that actually connects with a lot of different people with a lot of different expertise is the way that, that things will be in the real world, especially for designers. Certainly we're hoping that this type of collaboration will happen annually and so that we've established something that not necessarily only through the Institute for Visual Studies but across campus will happen with different groups where we bring in somebody external, we have cross-divisional collaboration and, and we really bring the students in and make them part of our environmental progress. So we're very hopeful that this is just the first of, of many collaborations that we see like this.